Hello, um, good morning, or whenever you're watching this. Uh, welcome back to another video. Today, I woke up and decided I'm going to film a day in the life video. Um, it's a gorgeous day outside, and I am just woken up. Um, when I say just woke up, I've been awake about half an hour, but I've just been catching up on social media on my phone. Um, because... We've been at work now. Um, I've actually got stuff to catch up on rather than spending every day scrolling and wasting my time. So it's nice just to give myself some time to do that. Um, but I am laid in bed with the dog and the sun is beaming in. So let me flip the camera. So it's a really gorgeous sunny day. And down here is Charlie sprawled out. Bless him. Charlie. Charlie. No. No. Hello. Are you a good boy? Oh, he's annoyed because I've disturbed him. But yeah. What a gorgeous day. It's getting on towards late September now. Shall we go downstairs? Come on then. Let's go. Come on then, Charlie, get Teddy, get Teddy, good boy. So, I've just put my pyjamas on, because I don't like getting changed first thing, until I'm actually going out. Um, I've been left a nice note. Asking if I can sort the washing out. And we need to feed Charlie. Do you want your food? Yeah? Should we get your food in your dish? So that's the first pot of call. But I'm also but I'm also going to put the button down on the kettle. And then put this in your dish. Okay. Go on, eat your food. Good boy. So much to say he knows he's on camera. Oh, okay, monkey. If you're not hungry yet, that's fine. Funny thing about Charlie is that he's not actually that much of a greedy dog. He'll always want a bit of your food, but he doesn't go mad for it, and he certainly doesn't go mad for his own. Do you? But. I believe they've left this out for me. My parents have gone out for the day. And uh, sometimes they'll leave me a tea bag in a cup ready to go. Sorry. Everything's all go. The kettle's been boiling, the washing machine's spinning and the dishwasher's draining. So, I'm going to take my cup of tea and come and sit outside because it's gorgeous. Ugh, try and sit down without spilling it whilst trying to hold you. It's actually quite a task. My hand eye coordination is not the best. <laughs> For a September day, it's lovely. I know I said that earlier, but it was. 20 degrees yesterday and I think it's similar today um, and this canopy is lovely to sit under because it's not in a direct sun I'd get a bit warm and sweaty if I was in a direct sun um, and because it's still mid-morning the sun's not made it because that's east behind me the sun's not quite made its way around the building yet so in the next hour or so it will be more here and then um, There'll be no shade there, that'll be in full sun coverage. And where 
let me see if you can see, where it's sunny, oh, I'm pointing, against that fence there, and the grass there, <laughs> um, it'll start getting shady. But yes, I'm going to sit and enjoy this cup of tea. What plans for the day? That washing that you've seen online is dry. Um, there is a load in the machine that's due to finish in 15 minutes. It needs to go out on the line, so I need to bring that in first. And there's another load upstairs that needs to go in the washing machine. Um, then I need to go to the shop. I've got an eBay parcel to drop off. And I've got some shopping to get from my nan. And then I'll go and see my nan for a bit, probably half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, I also bought some allium bulbs, which I would like to plant in the um, garden. And I need to pack for tonight, because tonight I'm going to Manchester for a night out for my um, friend's birthdays, Ashley and Francis, the twins, who, if you've watched for a while, you'll know who they are, because they're a big part of my life, and um, also they were in the Cornwall vlog and the Boardmasters Festival vlog. Um, so at about three o'clock I'm driving to their house, we're getting in Ashley's car and driving to Manchester. Um, gonna get ready and go out for some food and then go back to Ashley's student house and have some pre-drinks before we actually go out for the night. And then tomorrow, no doubt, we'll have like a late breakfast kind of brunch. And um, got a train booked back at half past two tomorrow. Um, but this is only a day in life, so I don't think I'll film that. Unless I turn it into a weekend vlog. Who knows? See if it's worth it or not. Um, but yeah, so cup of tea, sort the washing out, go to the shop, go to my nan's, plant some alien bulbs, and pack. Could also do to give my bedroom a tidy, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get around to that today. So we'll see what happens. But Charlie is laid like a very good boy in the sunshine on the patio. And I've got a lovely view of all of my dad's washing. That's the fence I was on about. It will start to get shaded at the bottom of there as the sun moves around. Um, and the garden's doing really well, so you'll see that properly when I plant the allium bulbs. I just thought I would quickly show a little tip that I find helps to make things quicker. When I'm pegging socks out, I always peg them in pairs so that when they're dry, you can do the little folds that you need, like that, and then you can literally drop them off. Let's see if we can film this. Straight into the washing basket. And um, it just saves a bit of time. Rather than having to find, if you put the effort into finding the pair before you hang them, then you spend a lot less time finding, putting them together and folding them when uh, you come to have them dry. Little tip, a bit random. Um, only saves a few seconds, but there you go. And we've done it with one minute to spare. I can assure you that trying to do this one-handed as well is not particularly easy. 
And so, as you'll have seen, it's got the lights wash. And it's a bit of stain remover. So, I'm going to leave it on the setting it was, which is Cotton's Eco, but change it to a 40 because I don't want things shrinking. 1600 spin because it's cottons, hour and 35 because it's on quick. find this very boring but <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway I am quite anal when it comes to how I hang the washing out because everything's got to be done a certain way so I'll show you certain rules that I have to follow the pegs all have to match on the same garment and they all have to run until they run into another color so these pegs are all blue then we run into purple and then we've got a bit of pink on the end. Everything also has to be hung in its group. So we've got shirts, trousers, towels, and t-shirt vests. Also, everything's got to have an equal drop on the back of it. Doesn't matter, not each item doesn't have to line up, but the item, I wouldn't have that side down there and that side up there. It would stress me out. Um, never, peg anything around the elastic on the waistband because it won't dry properly and then finally on the sock hanger um, everything's got to be equally spaced so it can dry and equally balanced so that it's not lopsided because that stresses me out as well and you've got to try and get the pole as high as you can <laughs> but I wonder if my um, washing line meets Carla Jenkins um, approval because I know she's also very specific about how she hangs her washing out. So now that that's done, um, not the most interesting of tasks to start a vlog with, um, I'm going to quickly go and jump in the shower and wash my hair because it's gone a bit sort of sparse. I don't like it when it gets gappy at the front. Um, yeah, so I'm going to jump in the shower, wash my hair and then um, go straight to the shop and to my nans. So I'm fully dressed now and showered and my hair is getting towards being dry. I just thought I'd show you my outfit. So I've got on my Ralph Lauren navy loafers, which I got when I used to work there. I got them in the sale with my Sadaf discount on top of them and they are £22.50 for real leather loafers so bargain um, these trousers you will have seen if you watched my ASOS haul they are like a chinoy material ankle grazery length um, tapered fit which I like this t-shirt says offline is a new luxury because it is um, and I've had it since I was at college so it's about five years old but I just haven't worn it in recent years and then the overshirt is, oh, sorry, Charlie, I almost stepped on you there. The overshirt, oh, are you being needy? Hello. Hello. Yes. The overshirt is from Arca, and it cost me £17.50 in their sale last um, August. And then this belt I wear all the time. It's from Ralph Lauren. Again, got it when I worked there. It's brown suede. Um, and that cost me about 20 quid with my discount. Excuse me? Are you tired? Charlie? <laughs> um, 
And also, as per, got on my necklace and my signet ring. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick update on this room as well. Nothing's particularly changed, we're still waiting. All this stuff under here is my sister's. That's my bedding that I brought back from uni that we're keeping because this is going to be a spare room. That's a printer that needs to go because it's broken. This is a temporary desk because my dad's going to be working from home. Um, so the plan is my sister needs to get rid of everything because it's also her furniture. So basically that ottoman is going, the bedside tables will be going, those drawers will be going, and that desk, well, dressing table, mirror, shelves, everything, all this stuff, so we'll have a blank space to work with. And then this is just a dining chair from downstairs that we've brought upstairs because I've been using that to edit my vlogs and Dad's been using it to sit at the desk. So yeah, this room is still very much um, untouched, very much a work. It's not even a work in progress yet because we haven't started doing anything to it. Um, and Mum and Dad are still... And still will be deciding for a while, I think, whether they want to use this as their bedroom and have their current bedroom as a spare room or not. Because the square meterage is only different by about half a metre square, so nothing. It's just that this room is squarer, whereas their room is more rectangular. Um, I think they should come in here because it lends itself better, the flows are better for a bedroom. Um, but we'll see what they do. So yes, um, oh, I also wanted to show you, ignore the mess, pretend it's not there. My mum made my bed for me, she um, like stripped and changed the sheets. And this bed's really weird because it has this as the opening. And it's so that you can tuck it under so that your duvet looks nice. But trying to get a sodding duvet in and out of this little flap means you have to basically get inside it to get it down to the corners and it's hellish. And uh, she left me this note. Never again am I wrestling with this duvet cover. And I don't blame her because I don't think I will be either. Um, I think I'm gonna either try and sell it or give it to a charity shop because the only reason I would sell it is it's from Laradoot. So it's really nice quality soft cotton, but I wouldn't have bought it if I'd realized that's what the opening was. They didn't show that in any of the pictures or the description. Um, so yeah, very odd, <laughs> but I'm very grateful to her for doing it. Hello, am I home? Yes, I am. I haven't been gone long. So I have been to my nan's and got her shopping. And my hair has dried and I'm happier with it now. It's a bit, I like it when it starts to curl. Um, it's finally starting to curl again um, since I had it cut like a month ago. Not a month ago, three weeks ago. Let me turn the radio on. Don't really get copyrighted. Um, so, um, I while I was at my nan's, I brought some stuff back because all my stuff from uni is in her garage being stored. Um, so I'll just quickly show you what I brought back. Well, first things, that's not from my nans. I've trapped myself to that at the shop. £1.20 for a cherry bake. Well, um, <laughs> random assortment of stuff. My good scissors, because I'm always wanting these, but they're always at my being at my nans. So I brought them back with me because they're so much better than any other scissors in this house. Um... Then I brought back my aroma diffuser. Let me get that out. This is from Oliver Bonus, and the twins bought me it for my birthday last year. Yeah, for my 21st. Um, and so then with that is the little water jug. I've got my essential oils there and a couple more here for that. Um, and then the only other things are my clothes steamer. That's the jug to refill it. Sorry, that's a drug to refill it, and that's like a brush, so you can brush while you're steaming if you want to. And finally, um, a charger for my electric shaver, because that's now dead, and I was wondering where it was. So now it is quarter past one, and I'm going to make some lunch, and then pack my stuff, because then I know that I can be ready on time, because I need to be leaving here at three on the dot. Um... And then once I've had some lunch and packed my stuff, I'll plant the alien bulbs, and I think that will more or less take me up to three o'clock. 
Um, because I don't want to rush around, I'll just do it leisurely. So yes, now to decide what to have for lunch. Although actually, before that, I need to bring in this washing and put out what's in the machine inside um, because that's finished and then that can be drying and I know that's done as well. So back to more washing. So I've just done two rashers of bacon, two fried eggs with runny yolks as you can see, uh, and two pieces of toast and I am going to take it and sit outside and eat it. Charlie, do you want some cherry bake? Well, mm. do you? You've been cheeky. Right, I think that you study there. I'm in the garden, as you can see, and I've got my bulbs. So we've got two Allium Mount Everest. Two Allium Violet Beauty and four Allium Purple Sensations. And I've got a Stanley knife to cut back a ground sheet, a trowel to dig, and some string to mark out. But I've got, nothing. I've got no garden canes. But let me show you what I've done is scraped back this wood chip and then I'm going to cut my holes and plant them in there. So yes, that's the plan. Right, so now they're all planted in there. Um, didn't have any canes, so I have to make do temporarily with our solar powered 
lights, but we'll get some proper canes to go in there. Um, and all I've done is I've just made sure that there isn't too much of this on top of the ground sheet because like you can see there that's how thin it is only like an inch or two depth um because otherwise they'll never come through um i buried them a little bit less deep than the packaging said so just because i knew they had this to get through as well to give them a better chance so we'll see in the spring whether we get anything or not or whether i've not done it properly um but if you've got any tips or you think this isn't going to work um let me know if you've got any advice um whilst i can still do something about it so i'll just give you a quick view over the garden as well while i'm here the herbs have absolutely exploded the lemon balm's all grown into the sage and the thyme's all grown into each other the rosemary's doing really well i think I'm not entirely sure what that one is. I think it's marjoram. Yeah, that's marjoram. The lavender's exploded as well. Um, yeah, and then the patio plants are starting to grow over the bricks nicely to soften the edge up. You can see where I've just been. And then the rest of it is all still maturing because they're proper shrubs. Although that one's gone mad and the bay is doing really well. Um, and yeah, we've still got some really nice colour in the, the summer bedding plants in all the pots, which is lovely. And this Japanese maple has done so well. It's been, it was in a pot for years and years and years. We've had it for ages, but it's just really sturdied itself up and thickened out a lot whilst it's been planted. So that's doing really nicely. I'm hoping it will start to swoop over that way a bit. That marjoram might be in the way, but we'll see. Um, this shrub's got some really nice sort of pinkish flowery bits to it, which is lovely. And yeah, the pots and the planters have just done really well this year. Um, and that one there we've got canes for because it was a bit droopy. Well, you need canes for over there because that looks a bit naff, but it's only a temporary fix. Yeah, so it's all looking really lovely. Um, and we'll have some colour in the garden over winter as well, which will be nice. Maybe get some winter bedding plants when these have finally died off. Um, but yeah, all good. Okay, so I've got changed slightly. I've changed the blue shirt for my cream cord one. Bought them both at the same time for market though. Um, changed my belt to my nicer Gucci one just because I'm going out and changed my footwear to my trainers because I can wear these in the clubs tonight um, and they're white leather so they're wipeable. They're a bit dirty anyway. And Charlie's laid on the duvet because he's a really good boy. Um, and then I just need to decide whether to take a jacket or not. I don't think I am. I think I'm going to leave it behind. My bag's packed downstairs, ready to go. So it's later on now. Um, it's been a couple of hours. Um, I managed to get the alley and bulbs planted as you saw, and then went and picked Edward up from his house and went to the twins' house. And now Ashley is driving us to Manchester. Um, and we'll be there in like just around about 40 minutes, so not much longer to go. So it's much later on now. Um, we had a really nice meal at Wagamama and have been pre drinking. And now we are at Canal Street and I'm here with everyone. This is Jess. Hi, um, Jack subscribers. <laughs> I've known Je Jess is my good friend from college. We've been friends for ages. This is a housemate, Sadie, behind us from the borough. You might recognise me from the Oxford vlog. Yeah, you, you know Edward know. already. Right, and then we've got, then we have, then we have, yeah, we have sure. the birth. I'm, I showed Sadie. No, 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 we, we got the twins. We've got Francis. And we've got Ashley. And then we've got Anna. Anna's, Anna's Ashley's housemate. Hello. Say hi. Oh, sorry. Um, and then, then we finally, we've got, uh, we've got Molly 
and we've got Mia and um, yeah and now we're queuing to get into Union. We can get a double for one pound fifty, and those are the kind 50. of deals that you're going to get if you come to Manchester. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching the daily vlog. Um, I'm going to try and get a couple of clips inside, and then that'll probably be it. And then I'll film an outro. Catch but, yeah. us later. See you later. Hello, uh, just thought I'd come on to end the video. Um, as you can see, I'm at home now. It was a great night out. Everyone had a great time. Um, we were out till about half five. We went, I think I told you we were at Canal Street. We went to Union and then we went to GAY. Um, lots of drinks, lots of dancing. And I didn't have a hangover the next day, which was brilliant. Um, so yeah, it was a very nice day. A, great mixture of activities um, <laughs> from the mundane to having a nice night out so I hope you enjoyed watching um, stay tuned for more videos coming soon and I will see you again soon with another upload